Hello everyone, welcome to Epson service training class. I'm a service engineer at Epson. This class is to bring you to a demonstration of how to use pad paper. We use D4V for this demo. The repair tools include soldering iron, electric screwdriver, marker, multimeter, anti-static bracelets, tweezers, scissors, before maintenance, use an electric screwdriver to remove the, screw dr the screws first. Then remove the mask. We see that our two pixels pads dropped off. Now we have to know how to add pad paper. Today I mainly show how to use the pad paper. Confirm the location from the position of the two pixels on the right side of the pad pixels to connect the signal. Use tweezers to clean up the silicon glue of the pad pixels and the position where need to connect signal. Please be gentle in case of circuit damage while cleaning the glue. After silicon cleaned, first let us remove the two good pixels that need to connect the signal. Use a soldering iron to melt the two pins simultaneously. With a little force, gently lift. Same with a little force, gently lift. Press back and solder the other side. Okay, pixel is removed now. We must clean the pad to ensure there is no foreign objects. Remain enough rosin. For subsequent welding, After cleaning the pad with a soldering iron, we need to use tweezers to clean up the glue and rosin below. Note that the careful while using tweezers to avoid circuit damage. After cleaning the pad, use scissors to fold the trace paper. Cut the pad paper needed. Note, don't break the original circuits while cutting it. This is what it is like. Put the paper pad in the corresponding position. Perform welding. After adding the pad paper, we can start to put the pixels. Locate the pixel first. After positioning, solder this pixel. Up, down, left, right. Check it, it is aligned. When the welding is completed, need to check if there are any short cold solder. After the inspection is completed, we can test the module now. If there is a dead pixel or any miscolor or other issues, reweld will be needed. If single color and scan lines work properly, 
then adding pad paper process is completed. Add waterproof silicone. After the silicone is completed and cooled, put back the masks, then the repair has been completed. Demonstration of how to use the pad paper to repair, to repair pixels has finished. Hope the above steps are clear for you.